Hey guys, it's Andrew Bennett, your tiny, tiny house guy. I am just on my way back from Kentucky. Had a really cool opportunity to um, help some other builders with their tiny houses. Uh, there was a couple up there that's wanting to get into the manufacturing of them. Um, and they ran into a little hurdle with some of the design stuff and... Uh, <clears throat> And then another couple building one for themselves, a uh, personal one, they're traveling, they're gonna do uh, a blog with them. It's uh, Wandering Tiny is their Instagram. So that's kind of cool, but this is a neat thing. So what happened was, I, um, these people heard about me, I met them at a show we did in Lexington, Kentucky. And, excuse me, I'm driving while I'm doing this. May not be the best thing. But anyway, it was in Lexington, Kentucky, and I met these people, and then they joined the NOAA certified um, group, so to get their houses inspected and certified for um, safe dwelling and traveling and insurance and so forth, so um, we stayed in contact, and well, they're running these issues, and I said, well, you know what, maybe I'll just drive up and give you a hand, so I went up there, and um, it was a great time. I got to work for six days on uh, one of them's house, and we were able to knock out all the electrical, the plumbing, we built out the loft and steps and cabinetry, and really got a lot done. Um, I mean, they were they were already pretty far along. You know, they had the basic framing done, and it dried in, um, and most of the roof on. They're working inside. Thank goodness it was cold up there. <clears throat> and. Uh, the next uh, couple was only about 30 minutes away in the next town over. Um, so I went and helped them. I think I might be missing my turn here. So I went to help them out and uh, they had the whole exterior done. Now they were working in a barn and yeah, I guess I did miss my turn. That's all right, I'll turn around. I got wheels. Um, so they were working in a barn on her parents' farm and it, it got cold by the time I got over there it was it was snowing and while we were in a barn it was just an open barn so we actually had snow inside the barn while we were working on the tiny house and uh, it got cold but anyway the trouble the struggle they were having was with the plumbing they just really weren't sure how to run the plumbing and what to do so I mean we just we worked about I got there kind of late that evening we had supper and then uh, worked on the house to about midnight and then uh, the next day is when it started snowing and we finished it up in the morning and had it all done basically by lunchtime. And they were, they were thrilled because uh, they, just, they just didn't know what to do with it. But we got it done and we also got some great ideas for a loft and uh, put them in contact with each other, both of those couples. And so they went over and looked at each other's houses and shared ideas and stuff. So um, anyway, it's just a cool little thing I wanted to share with you that I got to do. Um, I've done a couple other ones. I recently did one up in Cape Cod, went and helped to build it up there for a week, and uh, I did one in um, Alabama, helped another builder there for a little while, for about a week, and it's kind of been a, a cool idea. So, um, just kind of throwing it out there. Uh, I may turn this into something more. Um, I want to keep you posted. We did video. Uh, what we did on both of those in all of those areas and I want to um, put those together get it edited into something and I don't know what I'll do with it yet you know I'm open to suggestions suggestions maybe I'll put it on YouTube or I don't know give me some ideas and I'm sure you'd love to see the footage but we're gonna get it done and uh, let me know what you think see you guys I'm your tiny tiny house guy Andrew Bennett and this is let's call it tiny house rescue